Ranking Tears of the Kingdom Sage abilities, but my rankings are better this time. <laughs> Last time I forgot about Zelda and I was a bit harsh on some abilities, and now that I put in more hours into Tears of the Kingdom, let's do it correctly this time. In last place with the Vile of Sidon. His shield can be useful, but I mean who really needs a shield? I know you can use his ability to double the damage output of Zora weapons by getting wet, hey, but the other abilities are just so much better. In fifth place with the Vile of Minoru. She's a great addition to Tears of the Kingdom and giving you free bullet time and attaching weapons makes her extremely useful in combat. She is also great for exploring dangerous areas. In fourth place we have Zelda's recall ability. Rewinding items back in time to their original positions is very fun. In third place, we have the Vow Riju. Her ability is great for shocking enemies, but you can pretty much get the same effect by attaching items to your arrows. The splash damage is useful in combat, but that's if you can chase her down to use her ability. In second place, we have the Vow Unoble. Unoble's ability is extremely useful. You can break ores, create updrafts, or push enemies back. And in first place, we have the Vow Tolan. Tolan's headshots are extremely useful, and the Wind Gust is still unmatched in helping you explore Hyrule. Let me know in the comments if my ranking is better than my last one, and also make sure to subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom content.